Well, uh, we used to be called Natalie Portman's Shaved Head. And I don't know if you know this about that name, but it has a celebrity in it as part of the name. And uh, we were on a label that asked us to get permission from said celebrity. And basically we were not able to obtain that permission. So we had to change our name to Bright Futures. With a new name, it's been, it's been really fun having a new name and being able to start over. It's great. It's just been madness. As I'm, our South By has been so crazy. I mean, uh, the, <laughs> the last show we... Why that was so funny. <laughs> yeah, it it's has. been crazy for me. Yeah, it's been uh, crazy. The last show we played, we played on a rooftop, so looking out at the skyline. We had the whole audience turned the other. Uh, there was there was another show at the other roof. We had everybody scream you to them. I'm sure you can bleep that. Um, it was yeah. good natured. Though. It was good nature. I mean, like we only wanted to, you know, uh, you know, like just, just make it clear what our, you know, opinion was, but like in a way that was. Not disrespectful. I mean, it's a little disrespectful. <laughs> um, but we've, in, in our downtime, we've just been seeing so many bands. It's kind of crazy how many little clubs here have a stage and a band. Like, pretty much every, every place you go has something to see, so. The coolest band that I think I've seen so far has been Mike Snow, which we all waited for an hour and a half past when they were supposed to go on to see them, and then they cut the, the front of house speakers halfway through their final song, so then everyone in the audience started singing along with them and clapping, which was kind of the perfect end to it all. Yeah, that was an amazing moment. Um, I liked that. I also saw Girls at Stubbs, which was really, really good. Um, and I've heard they can sometimes be a little hit and miss, so that was, um, I think, that was an incredible show. The, the, <laughs> the, the thing that, there's a thing that's out there about uh, that we formed the band to, uh, to get girls and it's a joke I once made offhandedly. I mean, not that being in a band like doesn't play into relationships with people and it, you know, it does, girls like bands, so I hear. And, um, but yeah, I mean, I just said it once as a joke and it made it on our Wikipedia page and there you go. One of, one of our influences, well, at least for me is like, when I'm creating something, I like to think about uh, the audience live and just us playing it to them and seeing, oh, how would they react to this? How would it come across live? And would it make people want to put their hands up and whoop and holler or dance? Or would it make them want to sit and cry? Um, either is fine, but it's good to have that in mind. One of the biggest moments in our career, um, I think everyone can probably agree to this, we got to open for Weezer. Um, the end of 2009 and that is kind of one of our favorite bands and a really huge influence and that was this very surreal really kind of mind-blowing experience we just come back from London Luke had full-blown swine flu I was completely out like, of it on swine flu um, <laughs> I could barely sing I could barely open my eyes but I barely even realized I was there but yeah I, I went, playing with Weezer my favorite band I had to do it so yeah. I was actually at the Grammys uh, this year in LA um, and I saw the, w the one that sticks out to me is the Beach Boys that was kind of blowing my mind that that was their first reunion uh, with all the members in a really long time hey we're bright futures we're with the Grammys at South by Southwest